sign of a looking cross section there. Okay. Parkinson's disease pathology which often starts off as a motor problem. The longer you live, the more likely you are to get more cognitive problems, more decision-making, etc. So um, we have six areas of the brain that we know there'll be a fairly stereotypical spread of pathology over time. These neurons start to die uh, in Parkinson's and it's uh, unfortunately you only see the symptoms when you've lost about 80% of them um, so quite a lot of damage within the brain has happened by the time you're seeing the symptoms um, but the symptoms of Parkinson's are not all just about motor control um, there are the non-motor features, um, there's a high incidence of depression, there's declining cognitive function as well. So it is a very complex uh, disease that affects quite a lot of different neuronal pathways. And that's completely um, consistent with the short term of Parkinson's disease where we're losing those black cells. At this level, at the macroscopic gross level, the main indication for Parkinson's disease is to look at the substantia nigra in the midbrain. Do we see a loss of pigmentation in this area? And in this case we do. Um, there's still quite a lot of pigment here though, so that suggests possibly quite a short disease course so far in this patient. Stage six, the last stage of six, is when it gets into this area. We've made huge strides in you know, unraveling these complex mechanisms, so we know quite a lot about why the cells are malfunctioning and dying within the Parkinson's brain. Um, but we've been a bit slow in translating those findings uh, into developing new drugs, really. there's an area of the brain that can be stimulated in Parkinson's patients to stop the tremor. It doesn't work in all patients, but in some patients you can put in an electrode and stimulate and stop the tremor. So the electrode will come down through the top of the brain into the brainstem. It's a very tricky operation because the brainstem is a very um, small but d densely packed part of the brain where all information flow up and down is going through. With Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease you may have 10 years of the slow insidious spread of pathology before you see any symptoms in the patient. And you can look at that in two ways. Um, that's a potential therapeutic window. So at the moment, we don't have any drugs that stop the disease process. We are symptomatically treating. We're treating what we see. But if and when, and hopefully with the research that goes on, we'll be able to find a drug that will stop progression 
we then need to be able to identify those people to give that drug to before they start showing symptoms. I think we're uh, probably still 10 years behind cancer field in terms of our approach. What they've done now is you can actually analyse the whole protein signature for all of the proteins in the blood and also in the cerebral spinal fluid. And this is probably where an early detection system might come into play that um, there may be different signature of proteins within the Parkinson's blood compared to the healthy uh, donor's blood.